Hello and welcome back to my craft room. It's Big Fat Toy every day. I've got to be really quick because Tom's on his way over. It's Sunday morning. Uh, it's late Sunday morning actually. Um, in fact it's just turned to midday. <laughs> Where's the day gone? Anyway I'm so excited. You can see how excited I am. I've just done my way in. I'm going to slot it in here and the whole thing was this is the end. This is the end of my week 12 and I wanted to have got myself out of that red zone by then. I wanted to hit 11 stone 8 if I could by this part was it 11 9 I think I set myself yeah I think I set myself the goal of 11 9 I had three more pounds to go and I thought that would get me out I hoped that would get me out of the obese zone I'm going to slot the way in here thrilled to bits of that I thought I was a bit worried I wouldn't do too well because I have been really quite unwell this week with some sort of a virusy thing. I've still got it. I'm not feeling right at all. So I didn't do all the exercise I was hoping to. I was just absolutely wiped out. I think that might be balanced out by the fact that it put me up with food as well. I lost my appetite a bit as well. So <laughs> the two must have balanced each other out. Anyway, thrilled to bits of that the reason I've come on now is that I just wanted to share with you the moment of putting it in on the app to see what happens see if the will it get me out of that red zone I would love because this is as I say end of week 12 now I would love it if um it also got my BMI out of the 30s wouldn't that be amazing anyway let's have a look so here's the app I'm using it's called getslim.co.uk I don't know if you can access it in other parts of the world I found it via the NHS website but they're not actually attached to the NHS I just felt safe going with this because I'm assuming it means that the NHS have kind of approved it but they had lots of others on there too and I like this one because it has lots of different types of plans and diets and exercise programs and everything all within this one app you can change whenever you like use it however you want which I really like anyway let's shut up waffling because Tom will be here any second so I'm still in the obese category but only just my BMI is 30.2 one stone three pounds lost nest weigh in due today okay weight tracker let's go in nine stone ten pounds that's my target weight i'm 37 percent there my short term goal is what i was after the three pounds and of course last week i stayed the same didn't lose a thing so i had two pounds to do this week I had to get I had to get to 11.9 this week I've life surpassed it I'm thrilled to bits of that so as you would have seen it said 11 uh, 11 stone 7.6 I don't want to call that 7.7 and a half pounds round it down a bit or 7 and 3 I think you can go 7 and 3 quarters on this let's do that um, so uh, I've forgotten how to add one now here we go I've also just done my measurements and I think I've lost um, an inch, another inch as well off all my measurements so that is brilliant. I only do that, that measuring uh, once a month. So 11, oh, I've been so looking forward to this moment. Oh yeah, you can go and three quarters. So I'm going to call it seven and three quarters then. And then my waist measurements, so I was uh, 42, 32. 41 well 41 and a bit I'm gonna call it 42 round it up oh no that's 32 this was 42 I think that's another inch gone oh congratulations you have lost 10% of your body weight this is a fantastic goal to reach because it has so many benefits to your health and well-being reduces aches and pains lowers your risk of heart disease type 2 diabetes, certain types of cancer, helps you develop new healthier habits, improves your sense of well-being and helps you sleep better. I did get a blimmy good night's sleep last night. Wherever you are on your weight loss journey, you've made a real difference to your health. Well done. For the great, I think that means from the great, the get slim team. <laughs> great slim. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I'm out of the obese. I'm now simply overweight. Oh, I've been waiting for that moment. Oh, and my BMI is 29.6. It's only just out the 30s, but it is. I'm in the 20s. Oh, that's made my day. Made my day. So measurements. Uh, somewhere it gives you ways to hit ratio, and I can't find that now. 
but you can see so that's 32 42 where's the last yeah blimey I've lost a lot of my waist four inches I'm gonna have to double check that in a minute hang on take measure in the other room I didn't think I'd lost that much but that last time I weighed I measured my waist was 36 and the time before that 36 it hadn't changed yeah I was disappointed that time because it hadn't changed you remember so it went 37 36 36 it's now gone down to 32 no wonder everything's feeling a bit looser hips 42 <clears throat> they were kind of I, I could have rounded it down to 41 or, or if I'd you know fantastic oh that's totally made me, oh I'm that was worth all the pain <laughs> it wasn't that much pain actually Feel to bits feel to bits and there's my downward tra trajectory there let's look at the whole thing three months this is my three months now and I think up to this point I was only paying a pound for the a week for this so I will check up before next time I'll check up how much this app is now costing me a month I think I will be sticking with I don't think it was an awful lot I think it still works out cheaper than Slimming World and stuff so um, I think I certainly will be sticking with it for the time being until I get to maintenance point I feel happy with it because it, it just apart from anything else just tracking all my food if I don't do anything else tracking what I'm eating makes a massive difference oh, I just want to savor that moment for a little bit longer absolutely thrilled to bits so it's brought my BMR, my basal metabolic rate, down a little, little bit. Not too much, 1341, so that's the calories I can use without doing anything at all. If I was just lying flat on my back in bed all day, that's what I'd use just to tick over. So hopefully any activity burns more calories. And, any, uh, and if I can do five, if I can eat 500, take in 500 calories less than I'm expending every day, I should lose a pound in a week. And my hip to waist ratio there it is it's 76 i think it needs to be i did look it up initially it was like 84 my hip to waist ratio so that's way better um anyway so i'm gonna go now because someone will be here any second um thank you again so much to everybody for all the support and advice and tips and just general encouragement even though like last week when i when i didn't lose anything i said the same um it's still nice to have all of that you know it's good to have my cheerleaders there thank you i really really appreciate it and good luck to everybody else who's on this journey with me as well i know there's quite a few of you i hope you're all having a good week as well and uh yeah um hugely encouraged even despite being poorly this this week so i had braced myself for a bit of a week but Still to bits. Thank you very much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you again next week with another update. I'll see you before that with a couple of uh, arty farty videos, I'm sure. Um, have a lovely week and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.